Sacrifices. Dude, yeah, my eyes that, hurt. That Should I be wary? No, off. dude, I think you're good. You stuff. sure? <laughs> Look at my pupils. Like, sacrifice, he gets away I think I look too long. Of the eclipse. And they think GoPro like, stop recording. Well, I'm back from working out. I'm all showered. Feel a lot better. It's uh, it's nice to be able to work out with someone that's going through the same thing and uh, just be able to talk about it. But this whole thing is like a roller coaster. That's what I'm learning. You got to take it. As many times as I say this, probably will get annoying, but one minute at a time, as hard as that is to do, because you just get back and you're like, oh, I did so good, but so far to go. So you can't live like that. You got to just enjoy every part of it. So today was good, had a good workout, feel good, just ate a great dinner, showered. Also got to see my cousin who's recovered from a ACL injury. She had surgery, my cousin Faith, she played for Maryland, incredible basketball player. So getting to see her and she's all healed up and it's just, it was good motivation. It's good to have people you can reach out to, people that are going through it or have been through it, and, you know, cause not everyone gets it. And it is a journey and it's a mental battle, but we're going to bed with a win, one love. What's up, happy? Friday? Yeah, Friday. I had to think about that one. It's a new day and I'm feeling great. I have a whole new perspective. Last night, you know, I've been like bumming around about this and saying, it's so, it's so hard, woe is me, you know? A lot of things happened last night where I realized, first off, you know, Kelly's been telling me this the whole time and I know this is true, but hearing it from an outsider's perspective was like, <laughs> someone said to me last night, like, dude, I watched your video with where Kelly like made, uh, made the furniture, like she built the bookshelf and he was like, it was, it was just so cool, first of all, cause she She's always behind the camera so seeing her and then also just seeing you with your baby and your dog and like your whole family's just together it's like a beautiful thing and you're really blessed and I was like it just hit me like a ton of bricks it was like wow I am really blessed like here I am you know focusing so hard on how I can't do my sports how I can't do things that I I I I I want to do and the whole time my family's right here and I have such an amazing life and to be thankful for it. and it makes the journey and recovery process a whole lot better it makes it you know easier to deal with not saying that still like I, I will still get those thoughts where it's overwhelming and you know down about it or whatever but I have like a whole new gratitude of everything like even just what's the big deal like judo isn't my whole life neither is skateboarding it's just a part of what I do so like that's just one little thing in such a big life that I have so in the grand scheme of things it's not that big a deal I'm really lucky because I got surgery and I am getting better every day and some people like you know don't have that luxury so I, I'm really blessed to be in this position and I just got to start thinking like that and take it one day at a time um, enjoy my family and really be present because like I said you don't want to like speed up and just miss those months that were you know there's so much more than just getting to your sport and that stuff like yeah it's frustrating I can't move like I want to whatever but I am gonna get better and I just need to be patient and enjoy the things around me so whatever you are doing today go enjoy the people around you and uh, just be thankful for the things you do have not harping on you know things you can't do and just like dwelling on that so today I got physical therapy I'm feeling good I started doing my workouts at home getting more on top of things working out the other day with uh, Johnny was awesome so I need to get a beard trim tomorrow because my beard is just insane there's some things I gotta do but today we're going to physical therapy and a lot of stuff has been happening it's been going really well so GoPro stop recording well back from physical therapy um, didn't get to film anything because I forgot the camera but that's all right. I had it was amazing. It was my best day so far. I hit the bike for five minutes getting on the bike It was amazing. It was the fastest I've gotten to go since I had surgery It was the most like mobile mobile I've been and then I did uh, Leg presses with one leg with my bad knee and it was holding up really good I did I think 80 pounds for three rounds of ten and then did uh, some sit stands with weight And it's just re everything's coming along. I'm moving my knees bending everything's gonna be all right You know, it's gonna take a while but each day you gotta feel feel the progress so whatever you're doing out there don't get overwhelmed with the big picture just feel that progress every day and set those little goals it's really time for me to practice what I preach again more than ever about setting little goals to get to your big goal and don't obsess over everything just let it you gotta let certain things go so I'm doing that feeling good I got the best family in the world best wife just got uh just about to go eat some food and then uh yeah I got some really big news for this weekend so stay tuned <laughs> If you smell la 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 what the rock is cooking! It's Saturday 
And that big news I was talking about, I'm going to WrestleMania 40, baby. Childhood dreams do come true. I've been putting this out my whole life. Never thought it'd be possible. And my buddy hooked me up. He blessed me with the most amazing tickets for tonight and tomorrow night. So I was gonna just go Sunday, but I was like, I gotta try and go both nights. Um, But Saturday, if I go Saturday and, and I'm not able to go Sunday, it's okay. But if I went Sunday and just didn't even try to go Saturday, I feel like I'd be more regretful. So I'm going to make this happen. I don't know, man. I feel like a little kid on Christmas. I feel like it's Easter. It's my birthday and it's really happening. I was in denial for a couple days, not like believing it. It's real. I'm going to the Eagle Stadium tonight. Watch out, baby. Watch out. I'm going to go find John Cena and tell him, you can't see me. But first, I must get a beard trim. You got the fam. Yo, yo. Kel's walking with the babes, and uh, I got D. Hi, Dita. Dita, Dita. And we're cruising. Here's the before. I'm eating my mustache. All right, this is the after. I had to go back in because I got out, and there was like a, the way, it was a new lady, and I never got a beard trim from her before, and she did it so there was like this huge point in the front. I didn't even realize, and all this was poofy. She was talking about crazy stuff, and uh, I came out, Kelly saw it, made me go back in and then get a real. This is literally a childhood dream of mine, and I can't believe it's real. WrestleMania 40, let's go, woo! Dude, these are my seats, let's go! I don't know how they are, but they feel fire. You got the homies here? Yeah. That was beyond epic, and it was only night one. I don't know. Well, well, we we well. 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 I mean, think it goes well for Kelly. One, two, three. three. One love. Right, so basically I got dropped off here solo and just kept asking staff until they hooked me up with someone that walked me to my seat. Here's the seat. And then uh, my homie who hooked it up with the tickets, DJ, is coming soon. He's gonna meet me at the seats. This is crazy. I've never done a solo mission like this before. It's Monday, baby. WrestleMania was, I don't even have words to describe my childhood self. Just freak, like it, I, that, yeah. It was the enter. It was seventy-two thousand five hundred people. I solo mission to get there. I so I got dropped off. The first day I got dropped off by my dad, and I went through the gate, the uh, VIP and the ADA section. Got in there, and I was like, "Can someone help me my seat?" And I just kept asking the staff until someone helped me. I waited for a little bit, and someone came and got me. And this guy was like helping me push through. Everyone was like, "My man's blind. Get out of the way. Get out of the way." And we cruised through and got to my seat. My buddy DJ got me these tickets, and. So my buddy DJ who got me the tickets was gonna meet me at our seats and when I got to the seats I didn't realize they were on the field in Eagle Stadium in the link bro And it was like row 13 So we were like 13 rows back from the barricade and the energy was just electric like there was it was cool Because they had the mats like mic'd up so every time someone got slammed or the punches you could like hear them It was insane Rey Mysterio first night Rey Mysterio little Wayne uh, who else from my child? Oh, The Rock, Seth freaking, Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes. The oh, the un no, that was night two. It's night two. So f at the end of night one, I had to get an Uber home from Link, and I live like an hour and a half away. My buddy DJ had to go a completely separate way, so he got me to like a staff member down at like the outside, 
and someone was really this girl Juanita, she walked me all the way to the, uh, and it was like a far walk. This cruise I held up well, and I brought my brace and a crutch, but I did touch it, um, but I used it to get to my seat. And then <clears throat> I get to the Uber lot there. So Juanita leaves, I thank her. She's like, you sure you're good? I'm like, yeah, thank you so much. There's all these people there, so I'm like, yeah, I gotta be good, it's the Uber lot. Waiting, waiting, no cars are showing up at all. So now I'm starting to get a little worried, and like, it's funny, because going into the show, everyone's your best friend, you all get along, and then after the show, it's everyone for themselves. Like, not no one, don't have the time to help you. They're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, sorry. No, they won't even try. And so I was getting a little overwhelmed. My Uber driver doesn't speak English and he's trying to, he, he'll only text me, he'll call me and then we'll speak a few words and then he'll just hang up abruptly. So I'm like, what's going on? And then finally I tell Kelly what's going on. She's like, just stay calm. Uh, she was offering to get me. I'm like, no, no way. It's like 12 o'clock at night. So finally, she's like, call your friend Caroline. He lives close. And I call Caroline. I'm like, dude, I don't know why I'm calling you, but like, I'm stranded here at the link and I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go. No one's being helpful. And she was like, dude, I live like five minutes away. I'm going to come get you now. As soon as we hang up, the Uber driver calls you back one more time and he, he's like, where are you? And I keep telling him, and I keep telling him, like, I'm blind. I can't come find you. Like, it's really hard for me. And he uh, finally, I'm talking to him, talking to him, and I just hear, Tony? next to me and I was like no way the guy came and found me he parked his car so apparently the lot was like closed for some reason no one knew this and I got in the uber finally the guy walked he had to park and walk all the way to get me and then so big ups to that guy and then I got home at like 1 30 and I did it all again the next day I got driven to the stadium got in there uh, the same people from the night before recognized me to help me through and all this stuff like I had it down I felt like it was just because I could have been thinking about everything and what could have went wrong and it would have just I, I probably wouldn't even went to the show so it was incredible the Undertaker John Cena the Rock Cody Rhodes finished the freaking story uh, my voice is gone I have never yelled so much went to a went in the suite met all these people it was an incredible night. Hopefully Kel will be able to show some clips. Snoop Dogg was there, Bubba Ray Dudley. It was like all my childhood dreams coming true in one night. And The Undertaker came in and it was like ding and it went, went dark and they used to stay there. <laughs> Dude, it was insane. But now we're going to the solar eclipse and I'm like, so I woke up from all that. I'm going to the solar eclipse now. Like what is happening? So. I keep wondering, like, they say if you stare at the solar eclipse, you can go blind. Like, so if I'm blind, if I stare at the solar eclipse, will I see? So stay tuned. Going to my buddy's house, he has a telescope that I won't be able to see anything out of. But Kelly will. And, uh, yeah. Protected by the pit vipers. <laughs> just we out here. <laughs> I tried to look at it. It didn't do anything. It didn't cure my blindness. <sighs> I think I stared at it too long, guys. I can't see. <laughs> what are gonna do? This is wild, though. The birds, like, almost stopped chirping. It's so surreal. I looked through a microscope, saw nothing. Looked in the glasses, saw nothing. But yeah, clips, baby. Ow! It's the hype about. Yeah, right. We did that to get sacrifices. Dude, yeah, my that, eyes that, hurt. That Should I be wary? It's like they're ready to chop his head <laughs> no, off. Dude, I think and you're then good. You sure? <laughs> Look at my pupils. Like, what the hell? Dude, and I'm he, worried. They, he basically is sacrificed. He gets away. I think I look too long. Of the eclipse. Yeah. So what was your take on the eclipse? <laughs> Underwhelming. Oh, uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, 10 out of 10. Uh, ecliptic. Your take? That was awesome. Take? Hey! Okay, that's not yeah, a Yeah, I'll give it a 9.7. 9.7! You heard it here first. That's pretty good. I thought it was very anticlimactic. GoPro, stop recording.